hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been um we are going to look at something very very interesting today now let's say you are trying to work with um google Ads, and then you want to get um, a georeferenced satellite image and then you don't want to should i use the word stress you don't want to go through the stress of you know saving the image from google Earth, then taking it to qgis and then start dereferencing the image again this is the alternative or this is one of the other methods you can use to what download and dereference google satellite images now we are going to use on this video we are going to use the google earth software which is what you can see right now and then we are also going to use qgis and of course you need internet connection all right now let's delve into the business so um we have actually created a polygon we have um, some other videos on the channel where we have carried out tasks like this so Creating polygon is very, very simple. You just create a polygon for your area of interest. So just come to that um, function or command or whatever the case is, and then you want to create a polygon, which is what we have done. Then upon creating the polygon, you've seen that um, you can give it a name. So we have created a polygon and we gave it AOI, right? You can see AOI. The next thing is for you to export this um, polygon. Now, if per adventure you are not working directly on Google Earth and you also are working with a boundary from CAD or any other um, dicey software, you can still decide to export it as CAD to what, um, the DXF to QGIS. However, for this video, on this video, we are using from Google Earth to, what, to the QGIS. Then we now see how it is being um, positioned there. So we are going to save this, um, save places as right. Good. We are actually working on a folder we've created. So we are going to save it on this folder. Then we are saving it as what KML file, right? So let's just call this um, AOI um, underscore Google it, which means the area of interest we got from Google it, right? So we just save. Good. The next thing is for us to now go to QGIS. Now we are on QGIS. We need to import that um, vector data. Or let's say we need to import that KML file, which is actually what a vector data. So you already know you come to layer, you go to what add layer, then you go to what add vector layer, which is this, right? So you just click on that. Good. On the Data source manager for vector. You click on this um, browse icon, then you navigate to the folder. Good. You navigate to the folder. You have saved your KM, your KML file. So you just select and then you what? You open. You add. Wait for if there's any other prompt. Good. Select item. To add so we are adding all of those we add layers then we do what we close good you can now see the area of interest as been what it has been imported to QGIS now we need to um, work on the, is it, um, the filling so for it to be transparent just um, right click you come to properties then um, on properties we are going to use a um, symbology right good so let's see good the layer properties so under symbology we are working on that symbology we come to single symbols then um, under single symbols we are going to look at them um, simple fill right good 
So let's look at um, the simple field, the outline, simple line. We need an outline for, we need an outline on the simple line or something like this. So simple line for the filling. Then the black, um, let's make this red again. So good. Let's say apply and then okay. Bingo. So you can see that um, we have our area of interest. The boundary of our area of interest actually imported to QGIS. Now you can bring this in using different other formats. Now the next thing is for us to bring in the what the um, the Google satellite image on QGIS or the plugin that allows us to use um, the Google satellite image on QGIS. You remember the other time we had um, the we had a particular plugin or we used a particular plugin whereby you were able to get different base maps. You were able to get different base maps on QGIS. So the Quick Map Services plugin, that's one other plugin we are going to consider. So let's look at um, plugins. Then let's see manage and install plugins, right? Good. So we search for the Quick Map Services we select and then we turn it on, right? So just close. So how do we then assess it? You go to web, then you come to what? Quick Map Services. And under that, we look for Google. Good. And what we need is what? Google Satellite. So we just what? click on Google Satellite. Then it will be a layer on what? Good. On our layer panel. You can see how the application of that video, the link to that video will be on the description section where you can actually have access to um, the process up to this point. Perhaps if you are missing out on how to go about it. So this is how you assess what the, the Google satellite image or let's say Google satellite, the particular um, Google Ads you would have gotten as a software is how you access it on QGIS. Now the next thing is for us to now download a georeferenced Google Satellite image from QGIS because that's the crux or that's the essence of today's video. We have been able to see the, um, the, the area of interest which is our boundary where our boundary covers. We have also been able to see the what the, the Google satellite image or let's say Google Earth, yeah, not to say Google Earth on QGIS. Now we want to download this particular area of what our uh, area of interest as it is to reference, as it is to reference. That's the key point there. So you come to what the Google satellite layer, you right click, then you go to what export, then you see what save us. Good. On this um, save raster layer as um, dialog box, the first thing is what you uncheck the create um, VRT, then the format it wants to be saved automatically is what the GeoTIFF already tagged with this um, image format. Then the file name, you select the file name you want to use. So for the file name, you just navigate to the folder you're working on, then you select the file name, let's say you give it a file name. So let's call this. Um, um, AOI, AOI underscore geo reference, right? Now, save. Then the CRS, this is a key area you need to what, pay attention to. Now, the CRS is the coordinate reference system of your area of interest. So you come to this icon and then you indicate your what, your CRS. Now we are actually working on um, zone 32 instead of the default um, pseudo mercator you can see here. You are going to select your area of interest or where you are working on the coordinate reference system there. So we are working on zone 32, right? So we say what? Okay, that reduces the workload. Then the next thing is what? Current layer extent, um, calculate from layer, then map extent. Now this, as you've seen here, is the extent with which you want your um, image to 
to be downloaded from. So we come to calculate from layer. Then what we need is what the area of interest from bullets that we have brought in, right? So we select that. You now see the effect on the coordinates you can see under the what the extent, right? Which means the image it is going to download will definitely be within our what our area of interest. Then for the resolution, let's have something like um, 0.5 and then 0.5 here, yeah, right? Good. So um, with this, we have been able to set up the save layer window, let's say the save um, raster layer as window. The first thing is that GT, if you uncheck this, you try to give it a file name. Then very importantly, you select your coordinate reference system. Also as important, you select the layer which will definitely be on your map canvas, right? Then you select the resolution. With that, just say what, okay. You can see the progress, right? Good, task complete. So we are going to clear everything we have here and try to bring in or import the AOI as it is being what as it is being referenced. So what do we do? We just say new project or we have just selected everything and removed. But I prefer using the word new project. So we what we discard right. Good instead of saving. Then we are also trying to clean up this. Now, you know the procedure, right? Layer to add layer, add raster layer, because it's actually an image, a duty file. Then upon getting to add raster layer, you go to the folder you're working on. Good. This is the folder we are working on, which is um, the, uh, what do you call it? The reference image from QGIS. So this is the AOI reference, right? We open we add and we do what we close you can now see that our image has been imported and it is dereferenced you can see the coordinates here the coordinates are actually within the area where we are working on the resolution is not too bad you can still let's say identify some of those um, some of the features in the images and you know you can do quite a lot of stuff with this particular image we have gotten using this method. You can still confirm that you come to what properties, you go to properties and then information, you would see that uh, good, the coordinate reference system, 32, UTM and other stuff. So you can definitely what, work with this um, satellite image without going through the stress of you're referencing the points and you know you are good to go so um we hope we have been able to um, provide solution to this um, particular solving problem thanks for coming around we are going to see you on our next video and um, please if you're coming to the channel for the first time encourage us by subscribing and if you are a returning viewer thanks for always um, checking up on us you can always support us you check the description section of this video and on the channel you'll see links on how to reach out to us we are going to see you on our next video until then keep being good at what you're doing and um, have a nice time bye